The Royal Thai Army is the sole operator of the U.S.-made Stingray light tank. In the early 1980s, the U.S. Army launched a program to develop a weapon system for airborne units with three promising candidates, Stingray, M8 Buford, and Expeditionary Tank. The program, known as the Armored Gun System, sought to replace the M551 Sheridan light tank. Unfortunately, all of these light tanks were not ordered. Stingray tank was born in 1985, the product of Textron Marine and Land Systems, formerly Cadillac Gage, was the luckiest when it found a place in the Royal Thai Army. They agreed to take delivery of 106 by 1988. Up to the present time, all 106 Stingrays are still in service of the Royal Thai Army. Developed as a light tank for increased strategic and tactical mobility, this light tank is air transportable, such as the C-130 Hercules or a similar cargo aircraft. Stingray weighs about 22.6 tons, has a length of 9.3 meters, a width of 3 meters, and a height of 2.7 meters. The crew of four includes commander, driver, gunner, and loader. Gun and turret of the Stingray are similar to those of the Cadillac Gage V600 Commodore Fire support vehicle, which was also developed as a private venture in the early 1980s. The Stingray has a 105mm rifle gun. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted on top of the roof. Optional equipment includes various radio and communication systems. It can be also fitted with a laser warning system and a system that enables Stingray to lay its own smoke screen by injecting diesel fuel into the exhaust outlet. Stingray is equipped with a 535-horsepower diesel engine for a maximum speed of up to 70 km per hour, a range of 480 km. The Stingray is very lightly protected, while the turret is resistant to 14.5 meter rounds, the hull is resistant only to 7.62 mm rounds, leaving the platform decidedly vulnerable to anything other than small arms fire. Though unsuccessful in the United States, the Stingray found favor overseas in Thailand. Less heavily armed and more lightly protected, light tanks have fallen out of favor in most countries. Though mobile, they often just can compete with the firepower provided by main battle tanks, though they may be making a comeback 